Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the month of November. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just going to see what comes up. I took a chill pill just for you. <laughs> no, I didn't take it just for you, but I did take a chill pill. So We're just going to see what happens. What do we got for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio? Now, chill pill may be for you. Keep that in mind. That's kind of funny. Um, interesting. Three of Cups reversed. There could be this is this is uh, end of a friendship, perhaps end of a relationship. No reunion. Um, could be the end of a third party situation as well. We need to get a bunch more cards. Ace of Pentacles. Golden opportunity. You got something new here. Queen of Swords. This is seeing a situation very, very clearly. You have a new golden opportunity here. It looks like the power is in your hands, right? Or you are dealing with this woman. We have somebody here who is very powerful, somebody that is very authentic, speaks the truth, knows the truth. Interesting. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is ungrounded, lazy, unrealistic, stubborn, smothering. Hmm. We have a new opportunity here, Scorpio, and I think you guys are about to take it. Either you're going to take it or somebody that you are dealing with is, okay? This is seizing a new opportunity and this is a new golden opportunity being presented to you. Something that you have manifested. You have manifested something. And it's like the end of this uh, depression. So it's from, from sadness to happiness. So it's like you guys have been grieving, but you may be realizing that there's another opportunity and really realizing it. Like, I see it. I, I know there's another opportunity. So I think that you guys have came to some sort of conclusion that, yes, I got to let the old relationship go. I am le letting the old relationship go. I got this big, huge opportunity in my hands right in front of me. Here it is. You do. It's like they have given you this gift. They have given you a gift, but somebody has been grieving over a loss, but it looks like somebody's letting it go. They're letting it go because they just want to be happy. No more stress, no more worry, no more depression. And it's like your gut has told you it's give, you've received the clarity. Yes, that's what I see. You have received the clarity that whoever you were holding on to was lazy, selfish, um, Ungra it just wasn't real. They were unrealistic with you, whoever you were dealing with. And it's like you were seizing a new opportunity. It's like you see it. You see it and you're taking it. Ooh, we have the lovers reverse. Now this is, this is right here with this five of cups. So somebody has absolutely been grieving over another contract, over another partnership, unable to let it go for quite some time. But... Now you got this choice because the lover's upright or reversed is still a choice. You got some sort of choice to make. I think that you guys are taking it. Usually the ace of pentacles, the pentacles is up in the air. This guy has it in his hand. So it's like I'm taking this opportunity for happiness. Now this is a rebirth. This is right in your glory. You should be feeling like you're right in your glory. You are probably going to be shining very brightly this month. Definitely a lot less stressful by the looks of things. You've been in a state of exhaustion. Perhaps you felt like you couldn't even get out of bed. You couldn't get through the day, whatever. I think that's over because it's like the sun is shining very, very bright now. For you, somebody was unaware, unaware um, of the truth. Probably uh, refusing to wake up. The judgment reversed. Refusing to see the truth, right? 
a lack of acceptance, didn't want to accept the truth. There may, you know, there may have been a lack of forgiveness as well, hoping for a reconciliation, right? Holding on, hoping that things were going to change for so long. Somebody was dealing with somebody that wasn't well suited for them. With the lovers reversed, it was a false contract. There was incompatibility. It's like you couldn't get along with this person anyway. But there was some sort of connection there. There was some sort of spiritual connection there. But I think now you are ready for this new opportunity. You are ready. You've manifested somebody new and they have, it's like they've brought in you this gift. You could, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel as though for, for some of you, this is you having the power in your hands. It's like you have the power. You know the truth. You see the truth. And you're taking the new opportunity. So if you if this opportunity has not been presented to you yet, it's going to be presented to you very, very soon. This is a gift from above. It truly is. Ooh. Wow, the King of Pentacles. So whoever is coming into your to your life is very stable. This person can take very, very, very good care of you. This person um, is loyal. This person is grounded and down to earth. This person uh, likes good food and may be, may be a cook, may know how to cook, may like to serve. This person does like to serve. So this person will take very, very, very good care of you. This person may have a farm. I don't know where that came from, but I just happened to see. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. But anyway, um, this person may wine and dine. There may be some whining and dining involved in the month of November, just saying. Um, there is a new opportunity that is being taken. It's time to let the past go, and I think that that is exactly what you're doing. I feel I feel like you're looking forward now. You've got this new energy. You're letting go of regrets. You've got this new opportunity, and it's like right in the palm of your hands, uh, and you're making a decision. It is. You're at that crossroads, right? You're at that crossroads, whether you look back or you move forward. I think your mind is made up. I do. I think for a lot, not all of you, not all of you. Some of you are still going to be holding on and grieving over that false contract. But I see that. I think that the majority of you have received some sort of clarity. You have. That it's time to focus on the future. You have. You have received some sort of clarity. You've seen it completely clearly. It's like you've done your investigation. You've done your work. You know what you need to do. And I think it's final. I think your decision has already been made. For a lot of you, the decision has been made. This is a firm decision. For some of you, you could be coming together with a soulmate, okay? When we have the king and queen of the same uh, court, then, you know, that's usually some sort of soulmate connection. So you may be unaware that everything happens for a reason. You may have been unaware that... Uh, you had somebody else, but there is somebody here that could make you very, very, very happy. I do feel like it is an air sign or an earth sign. We have the king and queen of pentacles and we have the king and queen of swords. You definitely have a soulmate connection here. There's no doubt about it. And, and you know, we have many soulmates in a lifetime and, and some people are unaware about that. They think that they only have one. You may have been with, the previous one was probably a soulmate too, okay? But I think you, this is, an, this is another one, okay? This is another one because there's, there's a couple of soulmate connections here and you guys do have very deep connections. So I think that you guys have made a firm decision to focus on the future and leave behind the discontent and the sadness and you're ready for happiness. And because you make that choice, that decision to do so, it's like, here it is. It's like, here they go. Here, here's your gift. Here's your gift, Scorpio. This is a gift. You have manifested happiness. You may be receiving communication from an air sign or an earth sign. I think I already said that if I didn't. I think that somebody has been thinking about uh, moving forward, whether it's you or the other person, and they're about to take that step. You know, it feels like there's no more fear either. I feel like you're almost like fearless. Ah, oh, ah ha ha. That makes sense.
So we have the emperor. This is about being in control, taking control of a situation, being the boss. Some of you may be becoming your own boss. You may be making up a plan, drafting up a plan to start your own business or something like that. If you are, it would be a good time to do so. By the looks of things, make the plan. I don't know about signing it. I think it's Mercury retrograde. I don't know. But this is coming up with a plan, following through with the plan. This is being highly, highly, highly respected in your own role. Um, deserving of respect. This is somebody that knows exactly what they want and takes action to do it. So I think that you will be, you're going to be, especially if you are the masculine, but for example, I don't think this is just masculine. I think we have somebody here that is about to be, uh, I'm, I feel like cherished. Cherished is the word. I think that somebody is going to put you right on a pedestal. Now, this, we have somebody, this could be a father or a husband that is making a decision to focus on the future. The decision, ha the, it's like somebody's mind is absolutely made up, by the way. Somebody's mind is made up. The choice has been made to let go of the false contract and focus on the future. And because that decision has been made, it's like the universe or God or somebody has brought this gift. You're going to be given something this month. This is a golden opportunity that could lead to something solid. It could lead to something stable. It could make you extremely happy. This person, who, if you are single, somebody's going to come into your life where there's going to be some whining and dining. Maybe you're doing the whining and dining. <laughs> If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel as though things are good. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel like there's communication, there's happiness, there's uh, somebody that may not be pulling their weight. You know, if you're in a coupled relationship, you, there could be somebody that is lazy and smothering or whatnot, and they're not pulling their weight, but they come around. You know, there could be a disconnection in a relationship. Somebody may be getting out of a third party relationship and choosing uh, to focus more on the other person instead of the friend or the outsider. Um, there could somebody could be choosing uh, to uh, push their friends back so that they can nurture a, a partnership. You know, I don't think I've ever said that, but that's kind of what I see here. This is an opportunity to invest in a partnership, invest in each other. So I think that if you're in a couple relationship, you will be investing in your partner and, and there will be relationship growth in the month of November. Um, if you are single, I believe that there is a new opportunity that you are being given that you probably were completely unaware of. Maybe you were aware of it, but maybe you were unaware that this could be a soulmate. You definitely have a soulmate connection here that is worth holding on to. It's something that you should be keeping. Um, we have a true leader here. This is a true leader. Somebody is, is taking control. They really are. They're taking control and they're making a decision and they're sticking to it. One more card the end of suffering if you've been suffering if you've been in some sort of pain it's over ten of swords reversed it's time to relax it's time to heal it's a time of freedom it's a time of liberation it's a time of uh happiness no more no more laying low no more staying on the ground i'm taking control being in control of your own destiny. You are in control and this is being in control of it. So I think that this month looks like it's a really, really, really good month for you. If you are going to court for anything, if you're going to court, I feel like you may win. You may win. You, if, you're, if you have a lawyer, you could be dealing with a lawyer who's done a really, really, really good job and they're going to represent you and you may think that you're not going to win, but you are going to win. So I, I, I really feel like we have... Uh, something that is about to turn out in your favor. You're gonna, you are really gonna be sitting up pretty. Whatever that means, you're gonna be. I think it is. You're gonna be sitting pretty.
Some of you have a choice between two people, by the way, uh, uh, air sign and an earth sign, male or female. Okay, so we we definitely have a choice here with the lover's card and all these male and females here. Um, it could even have same sex. Okay, we have two males and we have two females. So we could, we, I mean, we could have however you take it, however you take it. Okay, so we, we definitely, have two people coming together and it's after it, we have two people coming together that are going to cherish each other that's what I have that's what I see it's a soulmate connection it could be same sex somebody could be leaving one for the other like you know what I mean you know what I'm saying Going, you know, a male, female to male, male, or female, female to, or whatever. Female, male to female, female. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, there's definitely the end of crying, right? There's It's the end of crying in your milk or whatever. It's over. It's like you, you see that this is a golden opportunity for happiness, and I think that you grab right onto it. Or somebody grabs right onto you. And this could lead to something long term. Let's get one of these. Um, I think at the, the, the overall energy though. Is the three of cups reversed. The overall energy of the month. The very first card. So this is telling me that there is. This is the, the end of some sort of relationship. Whether it's a friendship. Or a love relationship. Or whatever it is. It's, just, it's the end of a relationship. There's no more. Uh dealing with whoever that was it's, it's over with the three of cups reversed somebody is has basically there's nothing to to go there's no reunion i realize it i accept it i'm ready that's what i see oh we got two we're gonna have to take them Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove that they're with you at this time. So you're getting messages from heaven. Intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all, we are all born aware with a potential sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves the universe and to our divine spirit and i do believe obviously that you guys are being guided by several different avenues your intuition and from heaven to step into new territory to take control of your life to stop focusing on a loss and to accept the new opportunity and that's what I have Scorpio for November you will be presented with a gift take it Whatever it is. Good luck.